This is the second part in the video series of the school website. Um, right now I'm going to go over the advanced functions I put in for the website. Um, on the side over here I added a chat window. It's sort of like an IRC chat window oh, or form. Basically um, I put in chat angle, but I could have just as easily made something like this with jQuery and it would have only taken me like 10 minutes. However, um, this is for everyone to communicate with everyone that logged in at a given time and ask each other questions anonymously. I thought that would be useful since. Uh, um, it's just nice to be able to talk to people, you know. Uh, I know who's logged in at a given time. And over here you have a log. The log basically tells you all of your actions, like if you did anything major, like you logged in or you failed to log in, and it tells you, uh, and based on this you could, uh, if you see any suspicious login times and stuff, you can, uh, report it and ask the administrator to look into it, right? Um, this tells you your current IP address that you're logging in from. Um, and so now I'm going to tell you about um, things unique to the system. As um, I might have previously said, but I don't think I mentioned this before, based on who you are, and what your privileges are, you will see a different control panel, right? So I logged in as an administrator. So as an administrator, I see this control panel and I can also access the administrator control panel, right? And as an administrator, I can look over to flags and complaints and see any complaints that anyone has made on the articles. Here are a list of the complaints. I can look at the article and I can also see the complaint details. Right, so this is the complaint details and uh, the complaint content. Neilan, here is a, a reflag complaint. Right, so um, it tells you the username and what they're complaining about. Right, and it tells you the date they complained, and it tells you the article they complained about. You can go and view the article if you want to. Right, um, you could also administer users. So if you want a specific user to be able to do specific things, right, um, you can uh, handle that, right. This is their full name, and this is their pa this is their uh, not their password, but their login name, right. And then, um, as the administrator, you can assign advanced uh, functions to them. So if you want them to be able to write um, blogs. You can make them a writer. If you want them to be able to announce, you can make them an announcer. If you want them to be able to edit the other people's content, you can make them uh, moderators. You can make them teaching assistants, teachers. And based on who they are, they will have different access uh, to different functions. right? And this is only accessible to uh, uh, administrators. Also, as an administrator, I can see the entire log. And as the entire log, I can see the actions of each and every single user, right? So I can see that Neilan had a successful login, and this is the type of action, and it was at this date and this time, right? And it gives me all the information I want about them. Okay. go back to the control panel and if I want to I could also read the news right so it'll just take me to the main page and if I want to see specific news categories I can click on them right? I want to see tech science or I want to read these articles or if I'm, I'm curious about another subject I'll go to medical school and uh, or uh, that type of uh, articles and I can click on it and I can see what it's about right? 
as an administrator, I have the option to lock in the article so that no one except another administrator can do anything to it, like delete it, right? Um, so I'm going to, I just locked it, so now I'm going to unlock it, right? So it's unlocked, this tells you you can lock the article. So as an unlocked article, now I can look at the flag details regarding the article, I can demote the blog, right? Um, uh, this, since this is a news article, I can make it into a normal blog, or I can flag it and complain about it. Um, when you demote an article to a blog, right, you can... Hmm. Let me fix that just, just a second. I normally, you know, I just have to look at it for a second and I figure out the problem. So this is in uh, article validation ops. Ops. Article validation. It's just that I did a mass replace recently and as a result it resulted in me having to It resulted in a lot of information being sort of confused, but you know. Um, small errors here and there, but. But, okay, that's PHP. I put all my functions in a file called uh, functions.php I think it's in common yep and let's see that should fix the problem Or did I just get disconnected from the internet? That happens too since I have a crappy internet connection. No. And now let's try that again. Demote the blog. And it didn't upgrade. Upload. downgrade to blog and upload it and it's been updated uh, the status of the article has been updated it takes you back and I have all these other functions now since it's a blog I have the ability to edit an entry I have the ability to delete the article I have the ability to upgrade it and, um, and those are my um, the functions I can do so now I'm just going to make it into a normal article again a news article again updates the status, it stops, and then I lock the article. So that way no one can do anything to this article, this news article. So now um, I'm going to go back and I showed you how you can upgrade the article, you can downgrade the article. Um, you could read the news, you can look at videos, you've seen that already. But I haven't showed you how you could post a blog. So you can click here, you can post a blog, right? So since you're a user now, you can uh, post a blog. So you put in the title of the blog, you say what you want it to be, what type of article you want it to be categorized as. You, s you could uh, choose to upload a picture or not. You can add a summary of that picture, you can add content to that picture, and then you submit it, and then the article will be, um, you will have posted a blog. Um, you can submit a video, right? It, it works the same way. Uh, you could go and look at your own blog, right? So these are all the articles I've written um, as um, this user. So they're basically cut and paste articles. So you can close, 
you can go to the article, you can read about it, you can see what it's about, and then you can go, um, basically go and see all the articles you wrote. If you want, you can just click post a new blog and you'll post a new one, right? Um, and then, as every user has their own bulletin board when they're logged in, right? So basically, this is like a Facebook structure. You say um, what you're thinking. I am hungry. You share it with people, and uh, then uh, it'll show up here. I'm going to pause this for now since uh, my mom's calling me to eat.